Hi and welcome to this product explanation video of LED solar panel lights. In this video, we're going to be looking at uh, the ideal solar panel uh, metrics that you should be paying attention to before you make the purchase. Uh, what are the factors that you need to consider and uh, why we are certainly better than what you get in the market. Now, the first thing that I would like to talk about this product is this generic uh, pole uh, option. Whereas uh, in most cases, you will see that uh, when the solar panel is installed, uh, the pole fixture, the pole uh, hole of the light is not compatible with the pole that is already uh, in the site. So uh, this is specifically made for to address that issue in that uh, you will just need a normal pole that is used that is already used in the market and you can just fit it with uh, what, what, whatever is already available. So uh, you don't need to invest in extra pole spend. Now the second thing and I think that this is the most important part. Now this is an inbuilt battery. Uh, again, you don't have to have a specific outlet to place your battery. Everything's inbuilt in here. Now this is a lithium polymer battery as opposed to what you get in the market, which is a lithium ion battery. The difference between uh, the lithium polymer and lithium ion battery is that the lithium polymer battery provides more charging and recharging cycles. So let's say a cycle is between 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Now that's one discharging cycle and 6 a.m. to let's say 4 p.m. is one charging cycle. So with a lithium polymer battery, your recycling is more and hence uh, that results in longer life. Now in a lithium ion battery, uh, they don't tell you this, but the recharging cycle is very less. And so it might seem like the product is functioning well for maybe a year, and then you'd have to invest again to recharge the battery. Now the third thing uh, is also this inbuilt solar panel. Now in most setups, you will see that uh, the solar panel is mounted on a pole and this energy source, uh, as in the solar panel itself, is installed separately which is again an additional spend that you need to spend in your apparatus cost. Now this has an inbuilt solar panel in the backside of the light itself. So you, what you're getting here is this four in one, one size fit all solution uh, in that uh, your apparatus cost spend is way more reduced than, than what you usually see in uh, the market. It is also a branded solar panel, so the quality is quite assured. Now coming to the functioning of the light itself, now this has a higher lumen chip, which means that your output of output, as in your brightness of the light is going to be more than uh, what is available in the market, which means that during the discharge cycle, as in in the evenings and the night, when there is a person going within the radar of the light, the light output changes to 14 to 15 watts in a 20 watt solar panel. And when there is no one around on the street, it automatically adjusts and saves and reduces itself to about three to four watts. Now let's get a little bit more technical, shall we? Now, as I stated earlier, uh, the maximum discharge is 13 to 14 watts, which will give you an output of about 20 lux. Now the battery here is two numbers of 64 volt and six AH batteries. Now, if you multiply that, you will get a, a maximum storage capacity of 76.8 watts. Now, according to research, discharge cycles are about 12 hours, among which two hours, the light is going to illuminate at its maximum capacity. So that will amount to about 26 watts. And when there is no movement, when there is no one on the roads, that time is around 10 hours, which will amount to 35 watts. Now, adding 35 plus 26 watts will give you about uh, 61 watts, which clearly states that uh, the light output is well within its range of 76.8 watts that we saw before. Now, the solar panel that we're using here has the capacity of charging up to 15 watts per hour. Now, that will amount to about 60 watts for four hours and about 80 watts for eight hours which again, going back to what we discussed before, almost matches with uh, the battery calculation part. Now, if you see that I am close to the product in the vicinity of the product. So this is a 20 watt fixture. So uh, I'm, uh, as I stated earlier, this is uh, illuminating at about 13 to 14 watts. Now I'm moving away from the product and it should turn, you know, uh, to three to four watts any minute now. Now, as you can see, the brightness has reduced since I am away from the light. Now, this is illuminating at about uh, three to four watts. So you get thousand cycles of uh, this basically. 
Now, just to summarize, a ready-made pole option, a sensor, a battery uh, that is ready-made and inbuilt, so that you don't have to worry about extra apparatus cost and uh, safety concerns in theft uh, and whatnot. Uh, an inbuilt solar panel, again, you're saving on apparatus cost. A high lumen LED chip in not only a 20 watt panel but also a 10 watt and 40 watt panel. Now, in the case of a 20 watt, uh, the maximum uh, illumination is for 13 to 14 watts and the minimum off time is 3 to 4 watts. An aluminium body for better heat dissipation so that your lights are protected from overheat from the sunlight. So, I hope this brought some value uh, in terms of your knowledge of LED solar lights and I hope I broke some hacks that people use in the market just to push their product. Uh, if you enjoyed that, please consider subscribing and please do feel free in getting in touch with us.